Hey everyone, happy Crafty Friday. I hope you're doing well. A while back when I first started this series, I made this really cool paint chip or paint sample calendar. I hope it's not glaring in your face. Oh, it is. I've been meaning to do another paint sample DIY and oh my gosh, how is it December already? Look at this. I have two calendars up because I just made one and I didn't want to leave the hedgehog one out. I'm trying to pat your head. Okay, it's okay. So here we have a perpetual desk calendar that is reusable year after year. This one is as well. So if you uh, wanted, there is a cat hair flying around. I figured that this would make a great gift for Christmas or the holidays that are coming up. I still want to replace the hedgehog one with something really cute. I had you guys vote a few videos back and I've been loving your suggestions so keep them coming. I am a fan of practical crafts so I hope you guys are too. If you are new to my channel I post a new video every single Friday and Sunday. I hope to see you back very soon. Sunday I'm going to be posting a breakfast journal and now without further ado I just looked into the light. Oh my gosh let's just get into the DIY for that calendar. To create the base of my calendar, I'm going to be using this wooden canvas, which is kind of like a shadow box, but without the glass inside. If you want to go for a different style and or save a couple bucks, you could use some thick pieces of cardboard, a heavy duty shoebox lid, or something totally different like a big tree branch from your yard or park. I want mine to be all white, so I'm going to use this white acrylic paint and a sponge brush and I'm just going to paint the entire thing. Well, it's set for the back because no one's going to see that. You can see here that I tried using a plastic lid at first, but it's so much easier to just drip the paint inside and paint directly on the wood like this. Since you will have to wait for each layer of paint to dry, and I did three layers total, I recommend that you do this before something like eating dinner, taking a shower, or going to bed. I usually do projects like this at night, so right before bed, I painted this layer, and then when I woke up in the morning, it was ready to paint the second one. But the bottle of paint that I'm using says that you really only have to wait one hour between each layer, so just make sure it's completely dry before moving on to the next. And while I was waiting for the third and final layer of paint to dry, I made use of my time by moving on to the next step of the calendar, which is to get the paint samples ready. You're going to need 26 paint swatches slash chips slash samples, whatever you call them. The really cool thing about this is they're completely free. You can get these from any home improvement store, such as Home Depot. Mine are from Lowe's. I'm not sure if they have these exact kind anymore, but they'll probably have something similar. And also you don't have to measure or cut any paper, which is such a blessing in my opinion, because I don't like doing those things. You can see I already started putting numbers on these paint samples here. I'm using a black Sharpie brush tip marker, which not gonna lie i did have to take a few breaks while doing this because i'm not too fond of the sharpie smell or at least my head is not too fond of it but i love the way they write so it was worth it the first four numbers i'm doing zero one two and three as you can see i didn't mean to rhyme that okay these are going to be the first spot of the date or the tens place and the next 10 that you're going to see zero through nine are the ones place aka the second number in the date after completing all 14 of those, you'll want to move on to the 12 blank ones that you have set aside for the months of the year. You can write this on any way that you want to, but I chose to abbreviate each month to just three letters. And it's up to you how you want to decorate these. I chose to use a cool sticker for each one. I'm using this really pretty kind of sparkly snowflake for January and then a tree snow globe jar for December, as you can see here. Here are all the rest of the stickers I chose for the other months of the year. Let me know in the comment section below which one is your absolute favorite. I think they're all so cute. And bonus points if you know why the February sticker is especially fitting to my life. I mean, I guess there's a few answers here. After all 26 of your cards are complete, go ahead and mark a spot on top that you want to punch. With a hole punch, not your fist. After the first card is punched, I'm going to use that as a guide for all the rest of them. I find that it's easiest to get the hole lined up exactly if I keep putting a new card behind the first one every time and just punching that so it's in the exact same place. So now I have all 12 months punched and the 14 numbers. 
arrange them onto your calendar base and for this I did measure it out to make sure that they were as straight and even as I possibly could get them then with a pencil I just marked at the top of each hole and this is going to be the guide for where I hammer the nail into the wood just be sure to have the base hanging off whatever surface you're working on of course you don't want to accidentally nail into the desk or table that you have the calendar on and no I did not spray paint the nails they came like this I think silver or gold would also look really cool and you could even opt to use a hook or bend the end of the nail but I just hammered it in straight like this now all that's left to do is hang each set of cards onto the nails. I do recommend that you guys get extra paint samples just in case any of them rip over the months or years. You want to change the color of something or in the future you want to have a different sticker on the month. Like I mentioned at the beginning, I think this would make an awesome gift. You could even make it for yourself like I did and use it to decorate your room or somewhere else in your house. Or if I have any teachers watching or you guys want to tell your teachers about this, maybe you guys can make this for your classroom and kind of assign someone to change the date every day. I don't know if that would be enjoyable or not, but it would be cool to have. I want to start featuring your guys' creations in my videos again, so if you want to share, use hashtag SoCraftastic on Instagram, Twitter, and or Facebook to show me what you've made, and thank you so much to these people who have sent in their creations. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. New Rectus Journal is coming up Sunday. Tune in every single Friday and Sunday for brand new videos here on SoCraftastic. I don't know what I was doing. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day, and I'll see you soon. Bye! like sitting here with the calendar in my lap okay there's a shadow behind me shadow puppets <laughs> all right i've been ugh. in this video it's this video i don't know how to sit at a table ah ah Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh. <laughs> what am i doing i need to leave